What's going on, family? Welcome back to season two of the best and worst reviewed restaurants right here in my state. Now, just the other day, of course, we had to slide over to the best reviewed Chinese restaurant right here in my state. And, uh, woo! For those that didn't watch it already, I'm gonna put the link in the description box below. You might want to go check it out. But, now it's time to do the best and worst burger restaurant right here in my state. And we're gonna start with the worst. You know the vibes. Um, TGI Fridays. That's you. That's you. Let's read some of the reviews. Conviction Chicken. This is a made-up marketing name for a trendy-sounding ghost kitchen operated out of this and other TGI Fridays. They are the folks this review is directed at. Anyway, I ordered delivery with DoorDash on impulse because the picture of the sandwich looked good and I was hungry. Bottom line, while the chicken cutlet was okay, the rest of the meal was meh at best since they decided not to put my Red Bull or a cup of Korean barbecue sauce in the bag. They sure remember to charge me $5 for it though. Ultimately, the non-caring person who put my order together led me to canceling my Dash Pass and disputing last month's fees. Whoa. They didn't talk about burgers yet. Let's keep going. Put in a reservation on Yelp and hostess said they do not honor it. I don't think you should be allowed to put your name in for a reservation if it would not be honored. One star, ooh. Still, I don't hear anything about a burger. We're gonna read this, this last one is late. Oh, you mad mad, oh, you you upset upset. Okay, we, we got some reading to do here, family. Sit back, get comfy. Now, this is unfortunate. We came at 2.30 p.m., was seated after waiting about three minutes at the front. They sat us across from the door, so every time a customer came in and out to get out, we would be hit with freezing air. We asked to move our table and move back one booth. The table was not wiped down, sanitized, and our waitress basically said she would have somebody wipe that down. We were standing in the middle aisle waiting for someone to wipe the table. I had the table wear and menu in my hands, and I dropped my phone and broke my case. You trying to get a free case out of this? Chill. Someone across from us was clearing another table. We thought she would come to us, seeing we were awkwardly standing there, but I guess she didn't notice or care and walked away and we had no idea where she went. Our waitress came out with our waters and placed them on the table next to us and just walked away. We got so fed up that we went to their cleaning cart and grabbed a wiper to wipe down the table and as soon as they saw us clean the table, they immediately came over to clean it. We finally sat down as an appetizer came out right after that. We didn't order our food until after we were done with the food because our waitress didn't come back until then. Woo, service sounds like boo boo the fool. The food was good. The fries were a little too seasoned for me on their own, but they were good with the burger. I asked for a medium and I got medium rare. And I personally didn't like that cheese sauce on the bacon burger I got. My fiance liked his southern fried chicken sandwich. Once he was basically done, the waitress came back over asking if he wanted more water. Came back with the check and then asked if he still wanted another water after we already gave the card to pay. Like, no, we're leaving now. You know what? I'm not even going no deeper. TGI Fridays. We about to slot up in the spot, see if anything changed. Service, did it get better? Are we clean up off in that joint? Cause you know I'm gonna beat you in the head for cleanliness, customer service, and the food. Fam, sit back, relax, and comfortable. It's time to cue the music. I spend my Mondays like Fridays, I spend my Fridays in a box In my heart I'm my whining, I put my pinings on pedestals Instead of keeping them grounded, what's that mountain to nothing? Let's make some something from nada, let's go to Gucci and Prada Set the buildings on fire, screaming death to designer While we listen to pun What's going on folks, your boy Drops, you already know the vibes We're at 348 Boston Post Road, Orange, Connecticut At TGI Fridays, now we already read the reviews I'm just trying to slide up in the spot to see what these burgers are hitting on if anything at all, huh, it's the worst rated burger restaurant in my state. Let's find out why. Crispy, yeah that boy Presby Had the tongue gleaming, yeah I know they can't miss me See a boy a mile away, my kicks is really heading Looking like that meme, then them boys really spitting I just put an ISO logo on a damn sweater Alright fam, so we're inside TGI Fridays. Um, a little slow, 
on a jump, won't even stunt, but they only have two waitresses here. They got a few families in, but not too many, all right? And so they have the please wait to be seated section, waiting for the hostess, but I actually believe the waitresses are also the hostess here. There was a wait while they were helping the families, and that's cool, that's all it's supposed to be. I wanna make sure the patrons get taken care of. I'm seated now, sit back, relax, get yourself comfortable. You know we gotta do the cleanliness check. Let's take a look around. Mm -hmm. Not bad, family. On the outskirts, you know what I'm saying? Table's clean, clear, all that good stuff. Here in the menu piece, I'm about to get into it momentarily. But first, let's slide over to the bathroom. So walking into the bathroom over here at TGI Fridays, there's not trash all over the place. The bathroom has been sanitized, it's clean, and this is the middle of the day. You don't see water all over the sinks, so that's even better. So definitely gonna have to do the loaded potato skin. Burger joint, we're gonna go with uh, bacon cheeseburger. Let's do bacon cheeseburger, no lettuce, no tomatoes. Uh, medium. Hmm? It comes with bacon. Oh yeah, that's fine. And um, instead of cheddar, you guys have American cheese or no? Yes. I do American, thanks. I, you know, I keep it 100% funky with you guys. The waitress that you've seen just walked by. She just reminded me of something. She's like, I dealt with you before. She was like, <laughs> when I worked at Captain's Pizza, and it was, it was Captain's Pizza in Bridgeport. Remember, it was like a ghost town in there, and the lasagna came out, a little sus. She worked at that location, and now she works here at TGI Friday. So needless to say, that this review, I'm pretty sure she's going to go in the back and be like, Dame Drops is out there. So I'm gonna let you guys know up front. Customer service, she on it. She saw me waiting at the door. She's the one that came over, waited on me. Even put me in a section that isn't even on her list of areas to cover. And she's covering the section up over here. So, I mean, that's that's love off the muscle. And we're gonna run into that situation, right? But my only hope is regardless of the service that I get and regardless of the food that I get, is that these establishments still take care of every last one of you that come into the establishment after me, take care of you guys the same way. Like that, that's my biggest thing. As long as that happens, that's all I care about. I'm just happy that you guys are getting back out there and going to these mom and pops and showing them love or coming to these restaurant chains and showing them love, you know, post pandemic. All right, y'all, ain't gonna even lie to you. These potato skins look like they slapping. Last time you've been to TGR Fridays, I'm saying, were your potato skins hand like this? Did they have that cheesy, cheesy, squeeze me, pleasey going on? All right. I mean, that bacon's always going to be sus bits to your boy because I love my bacon extra crisp, but this is all right, right? Let's see what it's saying for, man. Come here, boo. Boom. Crisp potato skin. Mmm. Potato got a nice fresh bite on it too buttery mm. Mm. bacon chopped up in a little bits of happiness salted up just right so you don't even have to add salt to the potato skin itself when I mean, it's already bossed up with saltiness right it's looking ranch yeah, anyway it's not yeah it's moving like ranch blue cheese don't move like that come here Get over here. Mm. The table can slap different. Not good for a four out the door, no stun. The crispiness is what got me though. Mm. Mm. Let's get this burger action, y'all. You know, you know what we're checking for in the burger, right? SBA. And that soft bun action with peninsula. It's popping like it needs to. Drop the top on the convertible box. Bung bung, toast it up with a little bit of love. Now that's that TJ Friday sauce right there. I'm probably gonna put some on here. But you got your bacon laid out like it's sunbathing. All right, you got your cheese if you please. Pull up the cheeks on that to expose the beef beef. Pickles popping on the handstand, a little bit of onion. And like I said, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna drizzle drazzle, drizzle drazzle. No ketchup, straight, straight, straight TGI Friday sauce with some drizzle drizzle on that. Oh, uh, bong. And of course, season five. So let's go ahead and smoke one of these Jones up one time. Mm. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mm. Papa gonna buy you a mockingbird. Mm. Mm. I love salt and pepper fries, though. Salt and pepper fries go dummy in the tummy. 
a light crystal potato magic pop right there. Popping your collar on that potato right there. That's how fresh that joint is. The salt and potato fries gotta be the best fries on the block, family. And in the slight shoestring action. Mm. Mm, why are you acting like that? Let me dip you with some TGI Friday sauce, baby. Mm. Oh, that's zippity doo da. Zippity a. My oh my, what a wonderful day. So that joint was him. Mm. Come here, baby. Pinky up a flavor, too. Mm. Mm. Oh, you are. Right. Mm. Come here, baby. Pinky up a flavor, too. Do you want to know the difference mm. between a, a wheat burger and a burger that has strength? Oh, you are. Right. A wheat burger, you could chew and still talk. A burger with strength, you chew the meat. Oh, you are. Right. Just absorbs all the space. And all the air possible, all in your throat. To the point mm. that if you want them to start talking, mm. nothing but mm, mm, mm is coming out. Word. The flavors of my bacon cheeseburger. The beef, you gotta be a close cousin of Wagyu. It's premium beef stock. Soft bun, toasted up, onion, fresh. Somebody picked the onion up today in somebody garden, put it up on my burger chill. Processed American cheese, helped it slide down with ease. Pickles came in with the acidity levels, breaking it up the way they're supposed to be. Like a fight of the school breakup. And the bacon. I mean, I like my bacon a little more crisp, but it's definitely good, y'all. Don't play with me, boy. Don't play with me. This burger go dummy. I want to talk about something, family. And I want to be so direct when I do. Can we stop giving restaurants low ratings because you waited a little longer than normal? I get it. You don't want to wait to be seated. I get it. You don't like waiting for your food. Can we rate them on more than just your wait time? Because I don't think that it's fair that in Yelp, a lot of these hard working, hard working, okay? Mom and pop establishments, even these chains out here, man, they're getting beat in the head and getting lower scores than normal because you had to wait a little bit longer. You might have loved the food. None of y'all really complain about the food like that. You're just complaining about your wait times, giving them one star, and it's not fair. It's not fair at all. Especially since a lot of people are not looking to go back to work because they've been collecting that money and they got real comfortable. And I'm gonna call it what it is. A lot of people are not looking to go back to work and that's rough because there's an industry out there, the restaurant industry first and foremost, struggling, y'all. They're struggling. They need people to come back to work to service the patrons that come in so you guys don't have these long wait times. But let's stop beating these restaurants in the head for being understaffed, something out of their control because a lot of people are home comfortable that were once working at these establishments and serving you. And you're getting your food in 15 to 20 minutes. So to beat them in the head and give them one star, one and a half star, because people don't want to go back to work, that's, that's not fair to the restaurant industry. And I'm gonna just I'm gonna call it the way I see it. And that's just how I see it. Mm. Mm, burger, good. Mm, a little greasy, but good. Um, we're gonna do things a little bit different. I actually wanna go into the restaurant app and do a video versus leaving uh, pictures in a caption. Open the app up. I know it says closed. I gotta fix it. I messed up <laughs> right now. And um, let's, let's see. Camera for a quick video. Yeah. Oh man, I tore this thing down, baby. These potato skins, man, salty, man. Season just right for your boy. Nice little crunch munch for lunch on that right there. And then you already know what I done did to the burger. The burger went crazy. That's a lot of love. Appreciate it, thanks, man. I had to get myself another order of fries over there too, family. Them fries slap, them joints hit different. Man, you already know what's real when y'all get a second joint, you know what I mean? So uh, there it is, TJ Fridays. Use video. Now what you guys are gonna notice, uh, I should have held it in landscape mode instead of portrait mode, but I wanna physically show this to you. 
Even though I, I messed up, I made a mistake. Trust, I should have did the landscape mode. That way it would have taken up uh, more of the screen on there and it does not because I have it in portrait mode so that's how it's gonna play back. That's okay. I'm gonna mess around. Let's give it a four and a half out the door, family. Look, burger, no, no, correction. Uh, bacon cheeseburger, yeah. It was wild with its flavor profile. Juicy. Uh, hit, 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 hit a pause on it. Juicy, baby. Fries. Whoa. Season. Bites of delight. Oh, potato skins. Win and let you in. Yum. Yeah, just like that, that's how I do it. Done. Mm. Post that. Don't play with your boy. Get it out there in them streets, baby. So, foodie fam, there it is, man. Although, according to Yelp, this is the worst. <laughs> review burger spot in my state not at all man again it's unfortunate that a lot of people are taking a lot of these spots down with poor reviews because you had to wait just a little bit i'm trying to put this into perspective just imagine right if you had people coming over for dinner they knew they were coming to your house for dinner but you invited them over to your house for dinner and it's friends it's family and because dinner isn't ready they stop talking to you they stop messing with you, stop rocking with you, they stop coming through just because the dinner that you prepared for them was 10 minutes longer than expected, maybe 20 minutes longer than expected, and all of a sudden, they don't wanna be your friend no more. All of a sudden, you suck, you're a horrible person. And that's what you're doing to these establishments. You're going in to get something to eat, and because the wait time isn't what you would like for it to be, you're leaving poor reviews behind. Now, what happens when you destroy all these businesses? What happens when they all close and all you have is each other? All you have is the cook from home because you have nowhere to go. Because you choose to destroy businesses based on the fact that you have to wait. Let me know how that works out for you. Imagine that world, if you will. It's your main man, Dan Drops. Don't ever play yourself. I holler.